Hello, hello, I'm Rachel, aka Rapper Rose, and this video is going to be a quick ish content chat about something that I watched recently while you watch me draw the content in question. So, recently I watched Cannon Busters, which is a Netflix original anime, and I watched it on the recommendation of Commander14, who's on Instagram, while I was trying to find more black focused works to watch and this show has a cast that is almost entirely people of color if not entirely black because I know it's a fantasy world so it might not actually be the same type of representation because it's in a different setting. The story is a really fun science fiction fantasy high stakes comedic show. So the show centers on three main characters. Billy who is a Rudy Tootie outlaw guy where he has a huge bounty on his head and he's also immortal in a very strange and interesting way where every time he gets hurt a number shows up on his body showing how many times that he's died which is really interesting. He's a really abrasive guy so his personality is not exactly friendly I would say. And then there's Sam who is totally friendly and she is a an android who is super sophisticated and has a lot of secrets to her that I don't want to reveal because I want people to watch the show. And then you have Casey who's a very small little repair mechanic droid and she's super sweet and she was probably my favorite if I had to pick out of them. But the one that I'm drawing today is Sam during one of her big transformation scenes because she can transform into other different machine and weapon versions of herself. It's super fascinating and I loved the style that this show is drawn in and especially those transformation scenes are just so appealing to look at. I just, I could replay those scenes over and over and over again and want to study all of the minute ways that they chose to animate it. It's so good. But when you put all of these characters together, it's really chaotic because you have Philly, who's not a friendly person, who doesn't really enjoy being bothered, and then you have Sam, who's overly friendly, wants everyone to be her friend, wants to make sure everybody is happy, and yet Philly refuses to be happy. And then you throw Casey in, and she's just her own brand of beautiful mess, and it's so good. On top of all that, you have the car that Philly drives, which is named Bessie, and it can transform into a giant robot. And the thing is, I've always kind of enjoyed Transformers, and so you put anything like that into a form of media with a big robot, I'm going to enjoy it. It's undoubtedly something that I will enjoy if someone includes a huge robot. The transformation scene, <laughs> when you watch the show, hopefully, if you plan to watch it, when you watch it, you notice that the transformation scene was only really rendered once, and then every time she transforms into her big form, it's the same cutscene. <laughs> it's kind of funny the way they kind of tried to cheat the system like that. I noticed it. I don't know how many other people would have noticed that while watching it. In my head for this show, I would give this like a solid four star out of five star rating, maybe a four and a half. It was super fun, super addicting. I didn't want to put it down because the background plot and the main plot and everything that goes on, it each episode feels like its own adventure, but it all ties into a really great narrative. And I just, I really would recommend this for anybody looking for something new to watch that they maybe haven't heard of before and that is definitely more inclusive of black creation. And I would like to make sure that everybody who watches this also knows it is not for children, not for kids, not for kids at all. It's rated, I think, um, TV mature on Netflix. Just be warned, it does get like a little bit rooty tooty, gun shooty, and a little bit sexual. Some of the jokes are purposefully a little bit intentionally abrasive because that's how Philly is. I definitely would recommend this for anybody who's looking for something new. And obviously I liked it enough to draw something from it, so there's that. So this was just a quick 
different form of content that I'm wanting to try where I kind of mix art and my personal opinion. So I hope you stick around as I'm planning to do a lot more on this channel over the coming year. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Have a great day.